Please welcome our amazing livability panel, Mia Davies, Dr. Neil Fong, Dr. Kieran Donnelly, Peter Long, and Gerard Veldsman. Ladies, lady and gents, so nice to have you with us. I'm going to start with you, Mia. Obviously, uh, you have been in, you, or not only a country girl, born in Walcatcham, um, and have served in the West Australian Parliament for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what does livability in regional Western Australia mean, mean to you? Oh, I think from our perspective, it means having access to services and infrastructure that make it easy for our communities to invest back in themselves, um, to see a future for their kids, to be able to allow their parents and grandparents to age safely in those communities and for us to thrive instead of just trying to eke out and survive. And mm. so you need a mix of infrastructure, you need those services, and we all know that's more difficult the further away from the major cities um, to deliver them. And it's more expensive. Mm. And we don't quite fit in the box that so many of our policy makers try to fit us in. So when I think about childcare mm. or aged care mm. services, things that actually allow businesses to thrive and for communities to stay together, mm. it's very challenging to deliver those. Um, even 100 k's from Perth, let alone if you're up in the Kimberleys or out in, in the, uh, the goldfields or down in the south of the state. So. Mm. Uh, it's making sure that you've got the whole package, not just um, good health, good education. And too often governments, I think, come along and they'll say in, a, in an election cycle, here, you can have mm. some money for your school, mm. but you won't see them again for another four years. Mm. Uh, and, a, and a school, while it's incredibly important, isn't the only thing that's going to make that community thrive. And so we need to allow uh, our communities to be self-sufficient, which means the government needs to look for ways to provide funding that uh, supports, I think, projects specific to those places, because you would never deliver things the same way in the wheat belt as you would in Kununurra, mm. and that one size fits all from any government, state or federal, it just doesn't work. Yeah, 